I have been playing Warzone since it came out four years ago. And after using every single meta throughout this game's history, I can promise you that this is the most broken and the funniest one out of all the metas. The newly introduced Sledgehammer outperforms the pre-nerfed Tonfas and even the Kali sticks from Warzone 1. Now before you start using it and charging at people, use these 10 tips to maximize the efficiency of the Sledgehammer while minimizing the chances of you dying. Tip number one. For some reason, the Sledgehammer has two different attack speeds and both of them need two hits to knock the enemy. So in order to use the fast one, for mouse and keyboard players, simply right click instead of left clicking. And for controller players, that would be the aim down side button unless you have it assigned to something else. Tip number two, use smokes to make it look like you ran away from the enemy while you're just sitting in the smoke and waiting for them to come in. Or blind your enemy by throwing the smokes at them so you can charge and close the gap. Tip number three is to stack smokes before entering a fight. There will be fights where you need more than two smoke grenades, so it's better to have them ready in your backpack instead of needing to pop an ammo box in the middle of the fight. So when it's possible, constantly buy ammo boxes and use them so you can stow the extra smoke grenades in your backpack. Tip number four, the best perks to use for the sledgehammer are Mountaineer, Double Time. As for the third perk, you can use Quick Fix or Resupply. Personally, I did not like resupply because it takes too long to get one smoke grenade and because I'm using the last tip and making sure I'm buying a lot of ammo boxes, I kind of don't feel the need for that perk. As for quick fix, it allows me to instantly regenerate my HP every time I plate up or get a knock, which made it possible for me to 1v3 an entire team with just a sledgehammer. And for the final perk, I like to use Resolute because it gives me that extra speed boost every time I'm getting shot. Tip number five is to use corners. Whether that is to break the line of sight as you approach the enemy, or you're just sitting in a corner waiting for them because you heard them, or because you got shot in the back and you kept running around the corner and now the enemy thinks that you are running away. Tip number six is to combine the Mountaineer perk, Sledgehammer, and the Redeploy Zipline. There is nothing more satisfying than diving onto an enemy without having to open your parachute and proceeding to two-shot them with a hammer. Tip number seven is to always slide. The most stressful part is the final few meters before you can lock onto an enemy and kill them. And most of the time, they already did damage to you. So the extra speed boost from the slide, plus the resolute perk and the stickiness of a melee weapon will make moments like this possible. Bottom floor? Yep, I'm going bottom floor. I get one. <laughs> Tip number eight is to tap it twice. Remember that all you need is two hits. So if you keep clicking after getting a knock, that will force your camera to stick to the down guy and freeze you on your own spot. Tip number nine is the solution for number eight's problem, which is to always make sure to use throwing knives to finish the enemy instead of using the sledgehammer. That will give you the information faster in case you're playing Resurgence, and it will help you to not get stuck in your own spot. Tip number 10 is to use cover to cover movement. As much as I love the idea of charging in a straight line with my sledgehammer to knock my enemy, that will never work. So instead, gradually close this gap between you and the enemy by going from one piece of cover to another and breaking their line of sight as much as you can. And then when you're close enough, you use that slide and enjoy that free knock. And a bonus but very important advice, do not use the riot shield. Even if you're not actually using it and it's on your back, it will make your operator way slower than usual. And that will take away from the most important thing about the slow low, which is the speed at how effective it is. And as previously mentioned, I've been playing Warzone since day one. But because of the sledgehammer, I pulled off one of the most insane clips of my career and Warzone history. And this clip was from my live stream on Kick. So if you want to see these high kill games or have a chat and vibe out or even play with me, a follow there is highly appreciated. And if you want to stay on YouTube, a like and a sub will also be highly appreciated. His teammates under me. And next to me. There are people in the building. Down one. I... Down two. Can you resume, resume, resume? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my. What is this weapon?
kill you in the base game, dude. I actually fucking go. Leave the game! Leave the game! Leave the game! I'm crazy! <laughs>